in Johannesburg, Africa, and New Delhi, India. We will see the co-location of Kabutech in both Paris for India and Paris for Africa in the Middle Building new strategic partnerships between rubber technology players, the tire recycling companies and the ecosystem of players in the Indian and African tire. <laughs> I didn't understand your question. No, we need a safety certificate from the government of India to import tires from abroad, right? No, we have a BIS. Yeah, BIS, exactly. Yeah. See, uh, most countries have their own standards. So, let's like, say we are exporting in uh, many countries. Uh, from India, we export to more than 100 countries. And almost every country has their own standards. China has got Triple C, so Middle East has got SASO, so on and so forth. Likewise, India has got the BIS, which is... Uh, so there is nothing wrong in having that standard. And uh, there's no, I don't see any issue with that. Also. I don't see that uh, impediment to imports at all. It's just a standard. Please take a mic, I can't say. I say normally on the kind of... Uh, I mean, we are an association of private companies. And India is a free marketplace. And, uh, and that's good. I mean, that's good for the consumer, it's good for the stakeholders, it increases competition. What we are seeking is saying that there is an injury to the Indian tire industry uh, through largely Chinese import of transverse radial tires. And there is a case which is with the government, and the government is examining it, the merits and demerits of that argument, and uh, it will give its verdict as it deems fit. That's all that we are saying. Otherwise, India is very much a free marketplace for, uh, for uh, players from uh, around the world. The case in case, the, the point in, in the Trumpers radial is why the imports are 92 percent of imports are coming only from one country. You know, so that's the point. And and we have found that there is a huge evasion of taxes by the retail, and therefore we believe GST is a good uh, reform which the government has done. It should formalize the uh, the the. the the formal economy, which should expand, and and this may also support uh, the point. And uh, maybe the manufacturers are not doing it. Maybe the retailers are part of it. I don't know. But we uh, but we believe that it's harming the Indian manufacturing sector. This one particular product. Three thousand uh, industry professionals over these three days and there are about 80 to 100 uh, participating companies who are also here. So we wish everybody a very fruitful event and uh, until we see you all again in 2018, I wish you all a very fruitful event. Thank you so much and Namaste. Thank you. Thanks.